This is test one. Test number two. <sighs> test number three, you guys. How many more times can I do this? Oh, okay. Test number four. Let's see if the focus is right. It's just a pillow, right? Anyways, let's make it happen. And I'm making you guys a review of the purple pillow. So, a few days ago, I did that pillow tossing video. So here's the pillow. We're gonna go over a few things. One of the first things, I'll show you it's pillow tossing. What exactly comes out of this pillow? Is it any good? Is it harmful? Like look at all of that right there. That's all this dust particles of this plastic material that's inside the pillow. And this is the encasing that you sleep on pretty much right here. You sleep on this. Your head is laying right here. All of this is most likely, especially when you're putting your head up and down, all of that probably gets breathe like you breathe that in. Not knowing what to do, I feel like I'm gonna have to get rid of this pillow. I want to show you guys one example. This is one time when I actually threw the pillow down on my bed, and look at this. This is where the pillow landed, ah! and you can see all of that, which is kind of gross. That's what all came out of the pillow as I threw it down one time onto my bed sheets here. Which is kind of gross. Test number two. It has this material that's attached to it, so underneath it is pretty clean. From this being fairly clean, with me doing just one toss here, and then me taking it off, just to show you guys, you can clearly see all this dust particles that come out of the pillow. Which is kind of gross. I mean, it's a hundred dollar pillow, it's comfortable, but is it worth the health risks that might be associated with it? What exactly comes out of this pillow? They have like this uh, plasticky powder that comes out of this pillow and is that it prevents the plastic material that they have in there from sticking to itself. It gives it this uh, dryness, I guess, almost to it so it doesn't, doesn't get stuck to uh, the, the honeycombs or like those squares that are in there. Uh, don't collapse one to another and then they don't end up sticking so that dust prevents that from happening But some people were complaining why it's in the mattress and they were saying that it could cause health issues I think it that is a possibility if there was no mattress protector there is their mattress protector you can see It's like this uh, plasticky It's very shiny you can see how it shines a uh, very plasticky kind of material uh, and on the top side, very protective, and it shouldn't let any particles from the mattress pass. Really actually seems to prevent anything from coming even through it. I even did a test with a vacuum trying to actually suck any of that material through just the mattress cover into the vacuum to see if any dust comes up that way. And I got very little particles to come through actually. Uh, so I figured if a vacuum isn't able to actually suck out barely anything at all, plus you have the mattress protector, uh, I don't see a whole lot of risk associated with the mattress itself. Uh, the only risk that I noticed and the biggest one I want to talk about is actually the pillow itself. Uh, the pillow itself comes in this small uh, fabric material, uh, but it's very breathable and right below it you actually got that frame sitting right below it That's what I noticed uh, to be a bit of a problem So and maybe purple's watching me on this and maybe this is how they can improve the product themselves Overall product of the pillow great. It's you sleep on it very nicely. It's a solid product uh, I didn't ever actually end up needing to use this because once I put it in it made the pillow so tall uh, that it was just uncomfortable. But the issue with the pillow for me was a few days ago I was actually taking off the cover off of it and I kind of just hit my hand on top of it like this and as soon as I did that and I was standing right next to the window to see because there was sunlight coming through to see if any dust shot through the through the pillow and it actually did to my surprise. I didn't think anything was going to come up and so that's what kind of prompted me uh, to do this video and the only other reason I was actually doing that kind of hand hitting to the pillow was because uh, I got the pillow a few weeks ago uh, but I've noticed in the last couple of days that I actually was waking up felt rested but my eyes still felt really tired like I almost felt like I was groggy the whole day like I wasn't like didn't have any energy and I couldn't do anything and I almost felt like I needed to take naps 
several times during the day. I was just like, what the heck is going on? Like, I just, I'm so tired. My eyes, I can't see anything. I thought, okay, whatever, I'm just tired. Maybe I'm not getting enough sleep. So I would go to sleep again, and the next day, you know, I got the eight hours of sleep that I needed. I'm still freaking tired, like insanely. So I'm like, it has to be the dust that's probably, I'm either laying on it, and it's like, I'm breathing it in, or it's getting into my eyes or something, and I'm just like, no go. So. I put the pillow off to the side, and then what I did afterwards is I just took a regular pillow that I bought from a department store. I slept on that for two to three days straight. Just out of comparison, I wanted to see, does it make a difference? Am I going to be more tired? And it turns out my eyes are no longer tired. So that makes me kind of conclude that the dust is affecting my eyes in that way. Like I don't have any other adverse uh, symptoms. But if my eyes are being that susceptible to it, it makes me start to wonder, what am I breathing in at that point? Is it affecting anything that's coming into my lungs? You know, could that possibly cause major side effects down the line that we don't know about? Like, who knows, maybe breathing in whatever materials in there could potentially cause cancer. Who knows? I'm not saying it does, but it could. So for that safety and for what it's worth, mm, uh, the thing I would say to Purple is, highly 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 recommend if you guys want to continue making a pillow like this is to actually make like a mattress protector material for this so if you have your pillow case below that you would actually have not only this material but another type of mattress protector that you would actually put for your mattress with that plastic material that way it would prevent the dust from the pillow to come out or completely get rid of the dust and you guys wouldn't have this issue so uh, that's that and then if you guys have any other questions leave it in the comments below and if you guys want me to make any other videos like this down the line so you guys can get the inside scoop of what's wrong and maybe what's not wrong with the product that you want to buy I'll catch you guys later this is Nick and we will see you on the next review video take care